Welcome back to the channel and today we are back in the test zone because we're going to be doing some more tests with the power couplers and the goal is to test if the power couplers can create a comparable better or worse catapult than these suspension pieces can because two years ago I built this catapult out of suspension pieces and I went back and dug through my blueprints to find it just for this episode so we can actually have a comparison now i don't think this version that i found uh actually is programmed up completely so everything has its own separate thing but you're supposed to be able to apply tension to the suspension like this you can see that there's clearly some glitchiness happening with the disconnection there but it's still under tension and then if i press e it releases this arm like that um but there's dynamite on it and if i press space it releases the dynamite now ideally i would uh, but ideally i would just have to press one button and um then the dynamite would release at an appropriate time i kind of just did it there manually and it worked out really really well but let's see if i can actually uh figure out the timing here oh this is on a delay well let me put it on e and see if that's an appropriate delay all right so we go down let me press e Oh, look at that. Okay, so it is programmed. For some reason, I just had it on separate buttons. All right, now, fortunately, because I found this old blueprint, we can kind of do a real one-to-one -one comparison by swapping out all of this suspension with power couplers. Now, let's make some predictions first. Um, I predict that the power couplers are going to work, but they're not going to be able to be nearly as strong because suspension is highly resistant to this lateral force. The power couplers, that's kind of where they bend easiest. The, the power couplers are more resistant to compression than suspension, but suspension is more resistant to the lateral force. So therefore, I think that the suspension is going to give way more attention than the power couplers. And I do, there's a chance that the power couplers may not work. Um, but I'm going to think that we're going to get something, but maybe not uh, this level of launch ability. All right, so I'm saving this as a new creation just so it's refreshed in my blueprints. And that way it's going to be easy to go back and forth. But let's go ahead and delete. Wait, what do I do here? Oh, so we have, I have four layers, but these have the benefit of being able to attach sideways with each other. I could have it like this and then just stack all of them up until I get to the top. But my problem with that, well, we didn't really reach that problem. But the problem with that is now these are all four independent strands. And we don't want them to be independent. We want them to all be working together. But I feel like all we need to do is attach just the end. Just the top should be fine. All right, so these are our maximum stiffness. And I think that's the best bet we're going to have. I think these things are going to bend really easy. But let's see what happens. So now I'm going to not launch the dynamite. I'm going to put the dynamite back on spacebar. And let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. Okay, all well, I don't know. I don't know yet. You can already see it's it just seems to bend more. Well, let's see what happens. All right, number one. All right, I mean, that looks great. It looks like it's working just as expected, except for the fact that, like, some of them are curving differently. I guess here's our test. When we let go, what do you think is going to happen? All right, three, two, one. Oh. That was way better than I was expecting. I really, I thought it was going to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> but it went like, ah. So now let's just see it at its current setting. Is it the right timing to release this? I am really kind of fascinated that this is turning out as good as I thought, as, as good as it is. Not as good as I thought. Way better than I thought. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, it is slower. Wow. Could this end up being better than suspension catapult? Let's go 0.4. Let's double the distance. I'm I'm so excited to see what happens with this. All right, three, two, one. Mm, whoa, it didn't even explode. All right, that was definitely too late. So let's go in between 0.3. Is this going to be the Goldilocks, the Goldilocks value here? All right, ready, go. Ooh, that was like one, two, three, four squares. Let's try this again. I kind of feel like that's ideal. 
Like that release point is ideal. Now I got an awesome idea here. What I want to do now is attach both of them together and launch them simultaneously. And we're going to see who's better. Who really is the superior catapult? All right, now they're attached and they have the same exact controls. So place your bets now, who wins? Okay, well, see, you can already see the difference on just their ability, like the, the suspension has so much more resistance just based off of how far the servo is able to turn it back. Three, two, or one, launch. Okay, I think we may have a clear winner. All right, let me try one more time. You know, we need, you know, sample size of more than one. All right, and launch. Wow. Wow. All right, I want to do it again. I'm going to watch it rather than watching where they're going. I'm going to watch just where it's coming from because I want to just make sure that they look like they're both doing their best. Three, two, one, launch. Whoa, excuse, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that confused me. I almost, I didn't even see, I, th I thought the one that went far was the power coupling that time. It can, I don't know why, it just really confused me. Three, two, one. Okay, it's just not fast enough. I'm going to enable the complexity mod because I'm just gonna have to make things more complex. My plan is to just make a lot more of these. So we're gonna double this up. Let's just start with double. So this should be like twice as powerful. We're probably gonna have to re- That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> we're probably gonna have to readjust. Wait, I am so confused right now. All I did was change, what? All I did was change the power coupling side. This makes zero sense. Look at the power couplers. That's kind of cool. You can see it's actually, it's it's even, it seems to have more tension than the springs had because that's not going back nearly as far. Let's see what happens when I release. All right, timing needs adjustment again. Now it's releasing too late. But what is this issue? I didn't change anything about this. Delete these and I'm just gonna add these back as connection points maybe it just needs a little bit of a refresher like hey remember these connection points that didn't break all right let's see if that helps it doesn't look good you can see when it spawns in watch it's wobbly okay you know what fine be separate all right now let's see if it spawns in over here exit anyway are you okay now okay now it's fine all right, here we go. Wait, what? Now it's not going down hardly at all. Go, what? This is so weird. It is gonna be real hard to top of that. Two years ago, you know, I'm, I was engineering some, some very, very competent creations. The power couplers don't seem to be able to match up though. Eh. <laughs> it's such a weak throw. Maybe it's the side that they are on. What if I take them all and then move them that way? Maybe because they were in the back, it was interfering more. Let's see how this feels. Hey, hey, that's better. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I feel like we're getting more power out of it. Uh, that released too late, which makes sense because it's going faster now. So we need to reduce down to like, I don't know, 0 0.25. Maybe not all the way down to 0 0.2. All right, let's see how this goes. Ready? Huh. We're getting places. Not first place, but places. Actually, that was similar. I feel like that timing was off though. Oh yeah, see, oh, that's a good release. How many squares is that? That's like eight squares. So now we take this and we duplicate it again. Triplicate it. And Ben. <laughs> oh, it's not doing it as much. Okay, that's too late. It does seem to have more speed though. 0 0.2. It doesn't go down far enough. And hit. <laughs> One, two, three. It's like four every single time. This needs to just needs to go back more. Can I make these more powerful? All right, now it's twice as powerful. All right, ready? Hey, oh, wow. 
it went all the way down. It is that much more powerful. Okay, we may need to adjust some timing again, but here we go. Three, two, one. That still looks like four blocks. Maybe we got five? That looked like it was going so much better. And then it wasn't. Okay. Oh, that didn't go as far that time. All right, ready? Okay, you see, that's like one, two, three, four. that's like five blocks. And... You can even hear the difference in the sound. The explosion just sounds farther away. This is hard. This is not an easy task to come, like to get the power coupling on par with the uh, suspension pieces. Like we've tripled up here. I don't know what else we could do. Like that really feels like the best, a good release. Like when that released, I was like, yes, good timing, good strength, but it just doesn't compare. Here, let me see if I can spawn in this thing again without it breaking. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's working now. Oh, one. Look, can you split? Okay, definitely a clear winner. But once again, samples has a two. Hit! All right, they were closer that time, but there was still a clear winner, and it was the suspension. Let's see what happens this time. Wow. You know, I'm actually kind of curious now. I'm going to double up the suspension. I think I should be able to do just this. All right, this is probably the servos aren't going to work now. Wait, how are the servos that strong on the suspension side? All right, what's going to happen now? Okay, suspension now needs to release a little bit sooner. See, this turned into like, let's try to improve the power coupling to uh, suspension's just better. Let's try to improve the suspension now. Wow, look at that. They landed almost at the same time, which is interesting, isn't it? Ooh, this is a good one. It went back farther that time for some reason. All right, here we go. Do we have a power, the power coupler won that time? Ah. Okay, ready? Go! Huh, we're getting inconsistent results on the suspension now. The power coupling just beat the suspension twice in a row, only because we've modified it and made it essentially worse. Oh, that time it's not gonna beat it, I don't think. Power coupling, suspension, okay. Suspension does have an overall better performance. Even with triple power coupling, we were just not able. We're just not able to compare. We can't compare to the suspension. So, I mean, the power coupling just simply doesn't have as much uh, elastic resistance, which makes it actually good for bending things intentionally. But if you want the snap back and like that strong resistance to that bending force, you're going to have to use the suspension because they don't want to bend in that direction. The power coupling really kind of does want to bend in that direction. But you know what's going to be kind of funny here? All right. We've already determined that the suspension is clearly better. Hold on. I just thought, oh, I had another idea to just do have fun that wasn't going to make it better, but I thought of an idea to maybe make it better. Before I make it better, let's make it worse. And the way I want to make it worse is let's turn down the stiffness and I just want to see what happens. You got to like try zero stiffness. <laughs> it can't even hold itself up, which is what I expected. Um, but let's try like 50% stiffness. My idea though, I'm gonna make this longer and see what happens. Let's see how half stiffness is. All right, and bend it back. <laughs> it missed. All right, ready? And the release. See, this is what suspension won't do. All right, I'm gonna go 0.75. What I'm kind of looking for here, there's like a certain desired effect and the reason why I'm doing this. I want to just see the weakest catapult. That's what I want right now. Okay, so this one actually bends back. All right, ready? Release. That's too strong. And release. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> that was exactly. I couldn't have asked for a better setting than that. What is even going on right now? Like, this is just comedy here. It's just, it's just, just comedic timing. It's like all this tension. It has the appearance of all of this, all of this tension being pulled back. And then the release. <laughs> Just how slow it is. Catapult under tension. Ready to fire. Firing in three, two, one. It's comedy. All right, so I'm going to increase it by eight blocks, which is two power couplers worth. All right, everything. Oh, whoops. This is the wrong version. <laughs> Hold on. Looking good so far. And release. Whoa, that's pretty high. So I'm gonna do a couple of tests just to make sure if those results are consistent, then we know that we can change the value and release. Okay, yeah. So this has an interesting way of releasing compared to, uh, that was satisfying, compared to the suspension. The suspension kind of releases like that. This kind of like, it, it releases in a way where it like bends and then releases. It's hard to explain. Blaine. Ready and release. You see what I mean? It like flexes and then opens up rather than just going like that. It goes like that. <laughs> so we just need to release later. So let's go with 0 0.3. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, that's just, that's worse. Longer is worse. If longer is worse, it stands to reason that shorter is better. Yeah, longer is worse. Okay, so I added two. Now let's remove two from the previous version. So four total, but two from what we had. It looks so tiny now. All right, three, two, one. That's a lot more speed though. All right, it needs to release even sooner. 0 0.15, here it goes. Whoa, 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 how many blocks was that? All right, I need to, uh, I need to actually, like, line myself up now. Here, can I just... Ah! All right, we're on the line. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. That was better? What? Okay, I'm understanding a little bit. I feel like I can release sooner. We actually might be starting to go in towards, uh, competing with the suspension version. 0 0.13. Get ready. Whoa. Whoa. Bring back the suspension version. Oh no, it's breaking again. Why are you breaking again? You were fine before. Uh, let's see how far this one goes. Okay, right over there. You can still see a little debris. And then this one. That was pretty close. I feel like this one can now release slightly, slightly later. Actually, let's do another test. Suspension. And then this one. All right, ready? Ready, 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 ready? That's the same quadrant. That's the same quadrant. And I feel like this one can go for, I feel like this one. Wait, wait, let's go shorter. So far, we did find out that shorter is better, but there has to be a, a limit to that. All right, ready? It seems about the same. I'm gonna release slightly sooner. Oh! Okay, let's see. We need a, we need a more side-by-side uh, -side comparison now. Catapult, this thing. That was exactly the same. The, the power coupling actually did like a fraction of one of these smaller quadrants better. Okay, we need to do another test. This is so close. I can't believe how close we're getting. Okay, ready? No, I'm gonna do this one first. All right, ready? Launch. No, no. All right, that looks pretty far. I'm gonna try to keep, keep an eye on where it is. I see the smoke trails. 
Did you see that? It landed on the exact spot. Like, exact. That wasn't even like a little bit off, I don't think. I did not expect the secret to be make it smaller is more powerful. This was such an interesting result. I, I know that there has to be a point of diminishing returns, but dare I make it one more shorter? This doesn't make sense in my head that this could be more powerful. We haven't yet gone shorter and done worse. Does it have a good release? It does not have a good release. We need to go way faster. I'm gonna go like 0 0.08. There's no way this is stronger. What is going on? What is actually going on right now? Okay, here comes another test. All right, where are they gonna land? There's the suspension. It is, it is still really, really, really close. This is so crazy. All right, there's suspension. There's power coupling. Suspension lands there. Power coupling lands slightly farther. It's like the back and forth. They're literally, they're, they are just as good as each other. There's variability in their launches, depending on how far they end up going back. Like, I think we've made, it's so weird to like, to, to see these next to each other. And to honestly say this catapult is just as strong as this catapult. So power coupling catapult versus suspension catapult. We were able to get them to be comparable. Now I will, limitations, uh, definitely we did not try this method by uh, spreading out the force width wise rather than lengthwise. Uh, and making it shorter. Did not try that with the suspension catapult. So that could be uh, the nail on the coffin for the power couplers if it ends up doing, making it better. I, I had to try it uh, and I am trying it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I think we've, I think we've ruined the power couplers. I think we've found the, just the better system for a catapult. The power couplers have, have allowed me to find a better catapult setup. Pew! And then, pew! That one's over there. All right, we've done it. We've destroyed the power couplers when it comes to catapults. Although, it wasn't for nothing. I've now, I now have the knowledge that uh, longer catapults aren't quite as efficient as wide, as uh, just thicker, more more strength packed into a shorter catapult at least at least we learned something through this experiment so if you guys enjoyed this you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrapman and i'll see you next time bye